Okay. This here is the uh, rear engine cover, basically. This is the model. It's been painted since I pulled the molds off of it. This is the rear engine cover. The glass is going to go in it. That will open. The engine will be down inside there. Okay. There's the mold that I made off of it. See, it's a one, two, three, four piece mold. The flange is in three pieces in the main piece. There's some glass in there right now because I've laid up something for uh, we'll make a flange so that weather stripping can go on to it so it will seal. There's the real car. That's the hole up there where the engine cover is going to go. Kind of give you an idea how this is made. Okay, so here's the engine cover made out of glass, white shell coat, and then fiberglass. On the inside, that's just that a uh, pink insulating foam you get from the hardware store, Lowe's and stuff. It's easy to shape. See this radius has been put on it. Kind of making the interior panel out of that. It's been glued. Had to be weighted down because you see it's not flat. Glued with a high salt glue down. Now, polyester resin will eat this foam so I very lightly sprayed it with a primer called Duratec which is also polyester but if you do a real dry spray it'll cure before it has a chance to eat into the foam okay that's where the rear latch is going to end up being these are where the rubber stops to adjust its height will be there on each end So anyway, I've sprayed that primer over it, so now I can lay fiberglass over that. And it'll just be raw fiberglass, and then that will be sanded smooth and body filler used. And then it will be primed and painted. The flange will then be attached. But that's basically how that's made how we are making that. I'm sure there's 50 different ways to do it. That's how we're doing it. And then of course the glass will be glued urethane just like on a regular car in place over the hole. So it's a little explanation of one part of the car. I'll have more to come. Here's another way to use that pink foam. You see there that's just the pink insulating foam you get at the hardware store using your walls and stuff. It's just different layers glued together, make it thick enough. You shape it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Basically shape it the way you want. This end is a fiberglass ring that we made and just attached to the foam. This is for the air box. This, this end right here will go in the air box and clamp. The other end will go into the scoop on the quarter glass. Anyway, just put a aluminum tape over the foam to protect the foam from the fiberglass waxed the tape and I'm laying fiberglass over it and then when I'm done I got it as thick as I want we'll just drill out and chip out the foam and the tape and then we'll have our uh, 
air intake inlets. And the outside will be sanded and smoothed out with body filler, primed and painted. It's another way to do that other than using that Duratec primer or a waterborne primer. Okay, here's one of those things with the foam out of it. It just it'd be fitted up here. Okay. And it go in there and down to there. Which is the hair box. And and this is how basically that air box was made with exception of to make it easier to get the foam out just cut the box in half took the foam out and then seamed the box back together so that's how that was done